<laughs> Boy, it feels great to be back, and I'm channeling my inner Bernie Mac. And folks, I just got one question for you as we mark a dawn of a new day. Edon, what are you doing? Edon, what are you doing? Please tell me. It doesn't make any sense, sir. You saw what happened when we wanted justice for Juicy, and you saw that it didn't pan out for him. So what the hell made you think it was going to pan out any better for you? For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, let me take you back quite a time ago where we had a video about Jesse Smollett. For those of you who don't know about Jesse, he decided he was going to go out in the middle of the evening and by evening i mean 2 a.m in the morning with the claims of going to subway i don't know how many subways are open at 2 a.m in the fucking morning but apparently he was going to subway and i'm talking about sandwiches not a train station here in chicago then all of a sudden he decides he's gonna get beat up by two people wearing maga hats with rope because they came prepared to lynch him and then uh, apparently he calls the cops and when the cops pull up he still has the rope around his neck because for whatever reason, he just felt like that rope needed to be there to sell his case. And ultimately, if that sounds unbelievable to you, it's because it was. They found out he was lying. Clearly lying. And now you would think that people would be like, hey man, look, that's not a good look, man. Now, every time that someone's actually going to be assaulted or someone's actually going to be held out to dry, you know, maybe now everybody's going to start questioning them on whether, oh, maybe you're just faking it. And then you're going to have some innocent people who got hurt and the people who are actually the culprits will actually get away with it because you're crying wolf too many times. But it was just one off thing, right? No one else would be stupid enough to do that. And that brings me to you, Edon, in my own backyard, in my own county, in my city. Come on, man, Edon Kaufman, former Tampa Bay Buccaneer offensive lineman. Come on, bro. So you may be asking yourself, all right, what did he do? Well, he owns a pastry shop. He makes ice creams. He's right up the street. He owns a business. He owns two of them, actually. And what does he decide to do? He decides to cut the couches, rip the TVs out of the walls, smash the walls up, break glass, break objects that he paid money for, break down the building at 9.30 p.m. during most people's still normal business hours, in which witnesses then caught him breaking down and destroying his own business and writing racial slurs against his own race on the walls, and then writing M-A-G-A, which is MAGA, which stands for Make America Great Again. And then while he's doing all this, someone's like, uh, yeah, uh, suspicious activity here at this establishment, you might want to come. And the police pretty much catch him in the act. And he then tells the police, yeah, I noticed this crazy shit was popping off earlier. I saw this weird stuff on the wall and all that stuff, but uh, I called my insurance company, so you called your insurance company before you called the police, and then you were dumb enough to let the police know that it was hours beforehand that you called the insurance company and not the police? Think about that for a second. Doesn't that sound a little bit suspicious? But then the officers noticed that the paint was wet. Hmm. Then they noticed that a lot of these things looked very recent. And by recent, I mean just happened. So he gets caught in the act with his pants around his ankles doing this crime to his own fucking establishment. And this is where it gets hilarious, folks. You're from Tampa Bay. You're a Tampa Bay Buccaneer player in Atlanta. If there's anything I know about Falcons fans, it's that they hate everybody else in the NFC South and they hate Tom Brady and they hate anybody who even has a half elite quarterback because they know deep down Matt Ryan is just I. He's good at times, but he's just I, and they're salty about it. So as a division rival player, you would think this would not be the state to do it in. Because trust me, if Falcons can't beat you on the field, their fans will be vigilant enough to beat you off the field. And yes, the witness was there to <laughs> clap your cheeks of your plan right in the ass. And there was not a damn thing you could do about it. Because then you sit there and then you find out that the evidence was still in your truck. It was still in your damn car. You didn't even invest, you left it in your own shit. And then you perhaps, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. You then use your own car that is registered to you. 
and all you did was take off the license plate. Look, I know it's a black Silverado and that's a very common car, but someone's gonna put two and two together. There was a black Silverado at the scene. The owner also drives a black Silverado. Maybe that's one of the first avenues of the investigation that they're gonna go down. How? I just don't understand. How? It's just so stupid. At least Jesse, he went out and had some people, he outsourced the job to a couple of Nigerians to beat him up. But my God, this, this is what we're doing. This. 2019's a wild year. 2019's a wild year. And it's funny because you guys will say, oh, we hate Donald Trump. People like this give Donald Trump supporters all the ammunition in the fucking world. And we already know, we don't need to give them ammunition because every time they get any type of ammunition, whether it's something they bought from the store or whether it's something that was somebody was given to them, they will, they will shoot everybody at all times. And it's funny how people just get hung up on the littlest, tiny, insignificant things, but when big things happen, no one says shit. It's really fucking weird. But you continue to give these people ammunition and then you wonder why it's really, really, really tough to stop them. Because if I get beat up, if your sons get beat up, if you're an innocent person and you get beat up, now because we have two people and perhaps even more faking their own ass whoopings to blame people on the evil racist boogeyman that was never there in that situation, when it actually fucking happens, you're gonna have so many people going, but what if Jesse Small A, part three? But what if Edon Kaufman, part two? What if, and you're never, like, it's gonna get to a point to where we're not even gonna get the benefit of the doubt when we're the actual fucking victim. You gotta see that. You gotta call it for what it is. People are being fucking stupid and it gets on my nerves. You could even say, yeah, kind of chaps my motherfucking ass, but once again, people are gonna act ill-advised all the time. It's weird. Like I said, 2019 is gonna be a very interesting year, but it feels good to be back. But Edon Kaufman, you fucked up. And anyone else who's thinking about going down the same rabbit hole, don't. Do not do it. Because you're just fucking it up for yourselves, your families, and everybody that looks like me. Don't fucking do it. It's trash. Trust me, Trump already does enough dumb shit that you don't have to make up stupid shit about his supporters to already talk about the stupid shit that they actually do and the stupid shit that he actually does. But, once again, I digress. Edon Kaufman, you're fucking weird. You're owning your, you're owning your ice cream shop. You fuck it up. And then you leave the shit that you broke and stole and still have the goddamn TV wall mounts on the TVs you ripped off the wall in your truck. Like, how? Like, I still understand. How do you do that? How? You literally could have done anything. Done anything. But you keep it in your own truck. How stupid. Look, look, man. Look. Look. Real shit. This is real shit here. Watch some Case Closed. Watch some Be the Beginning. Hell, fucking watch Psycho Pass. Watch any show with Dick Wolf on it. Fuck it, Criminal Intent, Special Victims Unit, Chicago PD. Hell, if you want to get technical, watch any fucking detective show you've ever seen. Whether it's Murder, She Wrote. Whether it's fucking, I don't know, Miami Five-0. Whether it's fucking the Lethal Weapon TV show that I think I'm pretty sure got canceled. But come on, man. Any of these people could have came up with a better fucking plan than the shit you tried to pull. You even did it at 9.30 p.m. during regular business hours where people can see you.